Greetings, subscribers. It's late October and Halloween is just around the corner. There are many scary stories to tell at this time of year, but probably the most popular of all in America is that of the Headless Horseman. The world first learned of this horseman in the book The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, written by Washington Irving in 1819. Now, not everybody knows this, but Sleepy Hollow is a real town located in the state of New York, and it's a surprisingly short drive north of New York City. My understanding is, at the time the book was written, many of the Dutch settlers living in Sleepy Hollow really believed there was a headless horseman in their town. Now, regardless of whether or not anyone still believes that today, the story is still told in countless ways to this day. I feel like most people I talked to are well aware of the Great Walt Disney animation from 1949, the 1999 feature-length film which Tim Burton directed, and the more recent TV series which ran from 2013 to 2017 about Ichabod Crane coming to modern times and facing the Headless Horseman now. But there are countless other versions of the story in film and TV, which I'm not sure how many people are aware of. I've seen most of them, but not quite all, so today, I'd like to list as many as I can, and I'm sure my list will include at least some which you're not aware of. Then at the end of the video, I'll reveal my personal favorite. The first time the story was brought to film, as far as I know, was in the 1922 silent black and white movie The Headless Horseman, which starred Will Rogers as Ichabod Green. And it's interesting to note that this was the only live-action version of the story ever to really be filmed on location in Sleepy Hollow. This movie includes some footage of the old Dutch church in Sleepy Hollow, both exterior and interior, and a few years ago, I went to this church on an October evening in which they projected the movie on a big screen in the church with a live pianist playing music to go along with it, the way silent movies were meant to be watched. If you're interested in trying to see one of these screenings in the future, I'd recommend you check the church's website to see if you can find any more info. As I already mentioned, in 1949, Walt Disney put out the short animation The Legend of Sleepy Hollow as a segment of the adventures of Ichabod and Mr. Toad. In 1976, the Scooby-Doo show's 105th episode was called The Headless Horseman of Halloween. This deals with a gang going to modern Sleepy Hollow and meeting descendants of Ichabod Crane. In 1979, legendary actor Vincent Price hosted an anthology called Once Upon a Midnight Scary in which three different tales were told, one of which was the legend of Sleepy Hollow. Although here, we only see the climax of the story. In 1980, there was a made-for-TV movie called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow with Jeff Goldblum as Ichabod Crane. This was only a few years before he made The Fly. This version made quite a few changes to the traditional story. Here, I'll just mention that this was set in a cold winter as opposed to autumn. Throughout the 1980s, actress Shelley Duvall hosted a series of live-action fairy tales called Tall Tales and Legends, including a version of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow which aired in 1985. This starred Ed Bigley Jr. as Ichabod, Beverly D'Angelo as Katrina Van Tassel, and was told by Charles Durning. I personally think this version is overacted, and when I watch it, I feel as if I'm watching a live-action stage performance for children more than I feel like I'm watching a movie. From 1986 to 1991, there was an animated TV series called The Real Ghostbusters. Season 2's 30th episode, titled The Headless Motorcyclist, obviously showed the headless horseman in the modern world, now riding a motorcycle instead of a horse. From 1988 to 1990, there was an animated TV series called Alf Tales. Season 1's 4th episode, titled The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, shows us a version of the story with Alf and Ichabod's role though this version is set in New York City rather than Sleepy Hollow. In 1988, there was this... I don't even know what you call it. Actress Glenn Close narrates this half-hour telling of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, along with paintings that slightly move and music in the background. I own a copy of this on VHS, but I don't know if it was ever released on DVD or can be streamed anywhere online. A TV series called Are You Afraid of the Dark aired from 1990 through 2000. Season 3's first episode was called The Tale of the Midnight Ride. And it deals with kids in Sleepy Hollow in modern times, and of course the Headless Horseman. 
A TV series called Wishbone ran from 1995 through 1998, which had a dog of that name imagine himself in the stories of classic books. Season 2's first episode was called Halloween Hound, The Legend of Creepy Collars, and had Wishbone imagine himself as Ichabod Crane. Then the year of 1999 actually had three different versions of this tale released. There was the version directed by Tim Burton, which I've already mentioned. This starred Johnny Depp as Ichabod Crane, and Christina Ricci as Katrina Van Tassel. To say the least, this movie made major changes from the book. The fact that Ichabod Crane was a detective from New York, as opposed to a school teacher from New England, was just one of those many changes. This same year, there was also a CGI feature-length animation called The Night of the Headless Horseman. This had some pretty notable voice actors, including Mark Hamill, Luke Perry, and Clancy Brown. What's also interesting here is that the filmmakers studied real preserves in Sleepy Hollow and nearby, such as Phillipsburg Manor, Van Cortlandt Manor, and Washington Irving's home in Sunnyside, and designed their CGI backgrounds to look like these places. The same year was the Hallmark production The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, filmed in Quebec, Canada, and made for television. This movie starts off with Washington Irving, although we never actually hear the name, stopping in a tavern as he passes through the town and asks locals if they have any stories which could make a good book. An actor named Brent Carver played Ichabod, while an actress named Rachel Le Favier played Katrina. I'll mention that while I greatly enjoy the climax of the Headless Horseman chasing Ichabod, it is a little too obvious that this was filmed during daylight, as the filmmakers tried to make it look like it was filmed at night. In 2000, there was an independent film released straight to DVD called Sleepy Hollow High. Set in modern times in Sleepy Hollow, some local teenagers who've been in trouble have to serve some community service by cleaning up the woods. They encounter someone who looks like the Headless Horseman. Is it really him, or is it just someone they know dressed as him? I won't give any clear spoilers, but I will say I found the ending to be pretty disappointing. Then in 2003, there was a kid's animation called The Haunted Pumpkin of Sleepy Hollow. This was also set in the modern world. And there was the classic show Charmed, which ran from 1998 through 2005. And season 4's 14th episode, titled The Legend of Sleepy Hallowell, which aired in 2004, featured a headless horseman. Though this had very little to do with the story of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. In 2004, there was a made-for-TV movie called The Hollow, also set in modern-day Sleepy Hollow. This was about a descendant of Ichabod Cranes named Ian Cranston. This also starred a young Callie Cuco before she went on to do The Big Bang Theory. I've read that this movie had several different cuts released. One was more family-friendly, while another was darker and more graphic. In 2007, there was a feature-length horror movie called The Headless Horseman, which had teenagers in the modern world getting lost in a different location and discovering that The Headless Horseman is real, but nothing like in the Washington Irving book. And, as I said at the beginning, from 2013 to 2017, there was a popular TV series called Sleepy Hollow, which had an Ichabod Crane from a very different story, coming to modern Sleepy Hollow and teaming up with police officer Jenny Mills to battle The Headless Horseman. And that basically completes my list of different versions of The Headless Horseman I've seen in film and animation. I've seen a few others on YouTube which I don't even know where they're from, so I can't tell you much about them, and I own two different audio dramas. There might be more audio dramas out there, but this is what I have. Okay, so now it's time for the big question. What is my personal favorite? I realize my answer will surprise people and will not be popular. But if I am to be honest, it's the 1999 Hallmark version. Why? Because as someone who's read the book, been to Sleepy Hollow, and visited old preserves like Phillipsburg Manor, this is the only version to really make me feel like I'm getting a look at the story of Sleepy Hollow, where and when it was set. To me, this actor Brent Carver just nails it in the role of Ichabod. He's everything I imagined while reading the book. And this actress, Rachel Le Favier, really comes across as a small-town farm girl of that era. Not like how Christina Ricci, who's usually a great actress, almost came across as a goth. I will admit that actor Paul Lemelin is perhaps a bit miscast as Brom Bones here, as he doesn't come across as big and thuggish enough. But when I look at other aspects, like the town's settings, it really comes across how I believe Sleepy Hollow was around the year 1800, 
more than the 1922 silent film, which was actually filmed in Sleepy Hollow, or that CGI movie, The Night of the Headless Horseman, which based CGI designs on preserves in the town. I actually had quite a lot of other issues with this animation, far more than feeling the animation itself was poor. But anyway, this Hallmark version also had an exciting ending with a minor twist, but a brilliant one. But the basic bottom line here is, if you want to watch Ichabod Crane go to Sleepy Hollow around 1800, meet Katrina Van Tassel and other locals of Sleepy Hollow, get scared of the tale from Brom Bones and then encounter the Headless Horseman in the woods, then this is the version which I recommend you watch. So that's basically it for today. But as always, I'd like to hear some feedback from you viewers. Did you find this video to be interesting? Helpful? Has it made you want to watch some of these? Or do you know of more versions that you feel I should have included? Or would you like me to make another video with more Sleepy Hollow trivia? Please leave it all in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit like. And if you want to see more of my videos, then please feel free to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell. I would love to have you. Thank you.